welcome to my channel sewing with mary rose in this video i'm going to show you how to make a fully lined pouch if you'd like to watch more videos about sewing and embroidery made easy please hit the like and subscribe button this is a designs by juju easy zipper pouch i absolutely love this easy design it comes in many different sizes and you can use it on a four by four hoop here i am using my 120 by 120 hoop and this is my viking topaz 40. so here you see i'm sliding the hoop in i did use the wrong kind of stabilizer because i ran out of my sticky back st stabilizer and anybody could do this this is so simple just follow the instructions it comes with very good detailed instructions here you see i am just threading my machine with white thread and here you could see that design it's very simple i'm just making the smallest one we have available to us on the pattern I really like designs by Juju. Their things always turn out so beautiful. This is tracing the outline and the zipper placement. And now it's going here to put on the outline where you're going to place your zipper. So that's done. See how fast that was. Next, you are going to put your zipper down. So with your zipper, you wanna make sure that you are placing some tape over the top of it so it won't shift around and it is just tacking down the zipper in place. You want to make sure that it is nice and straight. You always wanna make sure that the zipper pull is out of the way so you're not going to ruin your machine. On this one, I did use interfacing. So the front side, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Anybody could do that. It looks super professional. I feel that if this is like a first in the hoop project for you, this is like the perfect place to start. I did a tooth fairy pillow you could check out in one of my other videos that took so much longer. Something I really like about this pattern here is that it's super fast you could complete one of these little four by four pouches i would say if you had everything all together probably in about 30 minutes at the most you can make these for little gifts it will not fit a gift card at this size so i just wanted to point that out to you it ends up being about 3.9 inches i believe so here you see it's just sewing around for that bottom part of the front of your zipper pouch. And look at how beautiful that is. You could even move your um, front pieces up or down, match the designs up. I wanted to save on my fabric, so I did not line them up. And here is the back part of the pouch. I'm just making sure that everything is lined up and oriented just right. You don't want it to be off or crooked with your pattern. And it's just sewing it down because I did want to save on my fabric and that won't really show very much anyway. In the instructions, it does recommend that you put your correct piece of material um, facing the other way just so that it looks really pretty when you open it up like in my first picture I showed you at the beginning of this video I did it the way they had recommended um, with this little pouch I'm keeping for myself so I'm okay with not having a beautiful lining on the inside just this piece of interfacing is fine by me I don't mind and here we see it is stitching all the way around and it will stop so that we can flip it around and um, you'll turn it inside out going back to the instructions you want to make sure you're following all of the instructions and right in the beginning it will tell you that you need to pull up 
or down the zipper so that your zipper foot won't hit and that you won't be um, leaving the zipper pull outside of your um, sewing area otherwise you will have to um, seam rip it out and do a part of it all over again so here you could see I'm getting ready for trimming the excess so I'm cutting all around it and I used my pinking shears after this but I didn't get that in that step and again I was out of peel and stick but you should use a sticky stabilizer isn't that adorable I love it it is so darn cute I can't wait to make more if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and thanks for watching